Uh, Shalom. First and foremost, before I begin, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rechak, Wadash. Double honors to the elder apostles and bishops of the great millstone that rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations unto the four elect tabernacle of David scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth. Now, if you want to learn how to be an antichrist, go to vocab and he'll teach you well <laughs> how to be an antichrist. Now, the Lord said, if you love him, keep his commandments. And uh, in Christianity, they teach you to do the opposite. You know, and, um, this is an example right here. I'm going to just play the video and let y'all listen. Uh, you got this young Jake on the left, young and impressionable. You know, he thinks of uh, vocab as a bright individual. So, you know, he's there and learning all type of uh, tips, you know, from the devil himself. You know, and um, hey, that's the thing. If, if, you know, you're taken by this devil, you know, you're charmed in any way <laughs> from vocab, then, um, you know, you're by the wayside, man. You know, you, you're definitely not of the elect if... Uh, Vocab can uh, convince you or persuade you. And, and, and this is the type of spirit that you will want to get pointers and tips from. All right. He's he's only going to teach you how to be an antichrist. OK. So anyway, let me play the video so y'all can hear what I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm going to talk to you, man. I'm really, you really inspired me man, to keep going. He, I mean, two and, this is a, and this is a Jake right here. He's 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 inspired by the devil. You know, and our people like the scriptures tell that our people are you know they're lost sheep. You know, and this is a this is a wolf, and you know he doesn't even know that this devil's a he's he's a wolf. You know, seeking to uh, devour him. All right, he's not gonna tell him you an Israelite. You know, we gotta be the ones to tell Jake that. We got to tell Jake to repent. He ain't going to tell Jake to repent. You know, because Christianity allows you to, you know, do do what you want to do. Antinomianism is what they teach in Christianity. All right. But anyway, let's 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 uh, get into it. Two can play at that game. You know, when they where's your fringes, you can tell them, why are you working on the Sabbath? Oh. You know, they're out there. They're out there schlepping equipment around, claiming that's their day of rest. What? Oh, <laughs> that's and true. That's not true. only that, you you can't kindle a fire on the Sabbath, right? The, the mm -hmm. Old Testament says you can't kindle a fire. How do you think they got there? They got there in a car. When you turn your key in the ignition, guess what happens? Spark starts a fire. That's why Jewish people walk to synagogue. Oh. Yeah, and they they walk there wearing all black. On a Saturday, because they worshiping Saturn. All right, that's the the origin of them wearing all that black and going to worship on a Saturday, right? But uh, he's pretty much uh, mocking the fact that Jake being in captivity and is not sovereign, that somehow you know Jake are not able to perfectly keep the Sabbath day. You more than likely in this society, if you don't have your own business, you got to work, you know, in order to, you know, pay your bills and your rent. And uh, your employer does not give two Fs if, you know, whatever day of the week falls on a Sabbath day, you still got to come in to work. All right. So um, he's mocking the fact that <laughs> brothers can't keep the Sabbath day, you know, like they would normally if they were sovereign. I mean, why do you think um, the Northern Kingdom, right? We read that uh, account in Second Ezra, the 13th chapter, how they left the land of their captivity to go to another uh, uh, country where, another, where no other mankind dwelt so that they can actually practice the law that they, that they couldn't keep in their land. <laughs> you know, there was always attempts at these nations trying to keep us from worshiping our, our higher power. All right. So we have to be sovereign in order for us to keep it perfectly. All right. That's why it, it talks about in a place of uh, drawing water, we rehearse. 
the righteous acts. And vocab act like he doesn't know, understand that. Was that Judges uh, 5? Uh, where is it at? Judges 5 and 11, it says, They that are delivered from the noise of archers in the places of drawing water, there they shall rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. Even a righteous acts toward the inhabitants of his village in Israel, then shall the people of the Lord go down to the gates. So, you know, we're, we're, we're in the place of our captivity. Places of drawing water, you know, we basically, we, we labor here. We have to, all right? Just like we worked in uh, Egypt. This is modern day Egypt all over again, all right? Um, but even in the midst of our captivity, we're just rehearsing, all right? What do you do at a rehearsal? You, you, you're practicing until you get it right. Yes, we have certain hindrances, but at the same time, our mind is, is pure towards the Lord. Okay? So, <clears throat> he thinks that, you know, we're confounded because, yeah, I mean, we're, we're, you got certain Israelite groups who are hypocrites. You know, they'll tell you to keep the law, but then they themselves ain't keeping the law. That's why we're the main camp that push uh, grace, grace and mercy. But we don't utilize the grace period to be a bunch of antichrist. Well, that's just, you know, since we can't keep it, you know, perfectly, we're not going to attempt to keep the law at all. That's what that's what uh, the antichrist would have you believe. You'll still be saved what, and you don't have to attempt, you know, at keeping any of the laws. Just say that you believe that's that's good enough. This man is the devil, man. And then on top of that, he used the example of, uh, you know, starting your car. That's an example of kindling a fire on the Sabbath day. Did you know back in the ancient world, it took actual laborious work to actually kindle a fire? You had to go and, 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 and go to trees. You had to cut down branches so that you can actually uh, make wood, wood blocks or, 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 or wood chips. And then you would have to, um, you know, kindle it. Okay. So it, that, that actually took some work to do. If that's supposed to be a day of rest, you know, why are you going into the woods and, you know, cutting down wood? And then you taking them and then you, you know, igniting them. You know, you do something with it where you, you know, rub it together and it causes a spark. So that you can light the fire. That's not the same as just turning a, a, a switch. Or turning an ignition in a, in, a, in a vehicle. And normally if we have to go anywhere on the Sabbath day outside of work. We're normally going to. If, 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 if the Sabbath falls on a camp day. Did not Yahweh Shai not say. <laughs> it's lawful to do good on a Sabbath day. We're going to go and do an actual service. So if it takes for us to hop in our vehicles and travel to that place of service, we're not in the wrong for that. It's lawful to do good on a Sabbath day. You're going to actually do a service. You're going out there to present your body as a living sacrifice because we're the uh, we're, we're priests of, of the Lord under the order of who? Melchizedek. We go out there at the camps and we set up and we go out there and teach that's the hey we we out there being priest so this he's just being a damn devil and this jake on the left he's just you know <laughs> he's by the wayside man like the parable uh of the sower and the seed the, the uh those who fall by the wayside is those who matter of fact let me get it so he's seducing this young Jake to be an antichrist. They tell you about fringes, we'll tell them about the Sabbath day. They don't keep the Sabbath day. And I'm pretty sure you don't either. And I'm pretty sure you, you keep uh, uh, these pagan 
uh, uh, traditions, though. He 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 celebrates Christmas. I know that for sure. Um, let me go to uh, Matthew thirteen real quick. It is uh, Matthew 13 and uh, 18. It says, Hear ye, therefore, the parable of the sower. When anyone heareth the word of the kingdom and understandeth it not, then cometh the wicked one, and in this case, this would be vocab, right? And catcheth away that which was sown in his heart. This is he who he, this is he which received seed by the wayside. All right. So, you know, you coming to learn from this dude. You're definitely by the wayside, you know. If you're an Israelite, you you fall into that that web, you fall into that that ditch. You know, more than likely, you're a poor to the Lord, man. You're not of the elect. You know, otherwise, the Lord will recover you from that. You know, like it tells us in Timothy. You know, this is why you know, and if Jake is sincere, you know, we're uh, gentle if they're willing to learn because we're trying to free you from up under the 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 the, the spiritual change that the uh the god of this world has over the minds of our people man this is why we break down strongholds uh second timothy 2 and 24 says and the servant of the lord must not strive but be gentle unto all men apt to teach patient and meekness instructing those that oppose themselves if the most high parent of venture will give them repentance to the acknowledging of the truth he's here to, to turn you to lies, to, de to, to deceits. I'm talking about vocab. He's there to mislead you. All right, catch Israelites and and and, and put them on those uh, mental chains, them, them spiritual chains. Put you back in darkness, man. All right, while we actually are recovering our people and freeing them through this word, through this truth, the Lord said, and you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. It says, if the most high prayer of venture will give them repentance to the acknowledging of the truth and that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil who are taken captive by him at his will. You know. So. If you don't listen to vocab, you're going to remain uh, captive <laughs> under under the devil. All right. Well, you're going to still continue to be a pagan. All right. And, and and not waking up to your true identity and true heritage and and you know uh learning how to actually serve the Lord. Because you're in Christianity, you know, this uh uh plantation Christianity, you're not a true worshiper because you don't know how to really worship him. He's giving his man excuses not to even keep the Sabbath day. You know? Was that in uh, Sirach 32 and 17? Uh, a, a sinful man will find an excuse according. A sinful man will not be reproved, but find an excuse according to his will. And this man, I mean, we expect that from him because he's he's of uh, of the devil. All right. So let's go back and listen to that again. They're like, where are your fringes? I'm okay. Here we go. <laughs> here we go. But uh, yeah, because you got you know you got some of these men in Israel now that are backing their lot today. You know, these were the men back then who would uh, that were you know enlarge the border of their garments. You know they they would uh, constrain others to be circumcised just so that they can you know make a sure uh, uh, boast in the flesh. You know, because they had they had their own standard of righteousness, you know, which was of the law. We know that uh, mercy and 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 truth and grace comes by our Lord, and that's what we're going to be saved upon. We're going to be saved uh, uh, by uh, by grace through faith. You know, and even though we're not going to be justified by the deeds of the law. But we still establish the law. 
We do not utilize this grace for an occasion to the flesh. So, yeah, man, there's no excuse. And, and the scriptures even say, let me let me go there real quick. First John five and three, and it says, "For this is the love of the Most High God that we keep His commandments, and His commandments are not grievous." Okay. The word grievous. Strong's G nine twenty six, Barus, Barus, Barus. And it says, heavy in weight, metaphorically burdensome, severe, stern, weighty. All right. So it's not really uh, burdensome to keep his commandments. You should want to keep the Lord's commandments. You know. And it, and it takes discipline, which in Christianity, they, you know, they don't teach you discipline. If you ain't got to do anything, if there ain't no, you know, boundaries, you know, outside of showing love with your lips. You know, what, what exactly, you know, are you learning? You know? What what discipline are you coming up under within that particular religion? You can eat swine uh, and, 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 and be accepted. You know? If 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 a mo was to, to, to come and, and, and want to hold hands and say a prayer with you, you can't judge them. You got you got, you got to love them. Ask vocab if a, if a mo came to your church to 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 join you know in, in fellowship, you know what what what's your protocol? What it what you know what's your stance? What's your actions toward the individual that comes and and and, he, and he's a mo he lives that lifestyle, but he he claims to believe just like he believes. What what do you do with that? I'm pretty sure that'll 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 startle his ass. Cause he know what the scriptures say about it, but what is he gonna say? All right. Now back to the Sabbath day. You had the priests, even the Lord told the um them them hypocrites when there was uh there was, you know, uh 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 basically on his head for healing on the Sabbath day. And he told him, well, do not, did not the priests profane a Sabbath and were blameless? Hey, what did they have to do? They had to build the, the tabernacle. You know? That was, and that's considered uh, work. But they were still blameless because that was part of the instruction as priests on the Sabbath day. All right, they, they had to uh, make fires on the Sabbath day. You could burn an incense on a Sabbath day. So this also sh uh, tells you he really don't have full understanding in our law anyway. But, you know, he just got to, you know, make this argument to, to try to, you know, get back at us. You know. So he's programming this young dude. You know, if, 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 if any Israelites was to try to reprove him. His, his his neck is gonna get hardened because of what he learned from this damn serpent right here. You know. Yeah, yeah, it was honor talk to you, man. I'm really you really inspired me to keep going. Really, he, I mean, two play two can play at that game. You know, when they where's your fringes, you can tell them why are you working on the Sabbath. Oh, yeah, they're out there. They're out there schlepping equipment around, claiming that's their day of rest. What? Oh, <laughs> that's and true. That's not true. only that, you you can't kindle a fire on the Sabbath, right? The, the mm -hmm. Old Testament says you can't kindle a fire. How do you think they got uh -huh. there? They got there in a car. When you turn your key in the ignition, guess what happens? Spark starts a fire. That's why Jewish people walk to synagogue. Oh. You mean, oh wow. When you get in your car, you are kindling a fire. Yeah, the synagogue of Satan. That that, that don't mean a damn thing, man. You know, but if, hey, if you getting in your car to go to teach, if you going to to, to uh, 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 present your body as a living sacrifice, you going out there to prophesy. What's wrong with that? 
Is, is it not lawful to do good on a Sabbath day? Wow. So they See, now I'm going to go, yeah, go tell my buddy that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. So now don't keep the Sabbath? Because you can you you can make that assessment. So are you saying that to imply what exactly? Don't keep the Sabbath? <laughs> so you see the seeds that he's sowing in his in this young Jake's uh mind. This man is this this man is the devil, man. And guess what? In in our kingdom, everybody's gonna uh have to keep the Sabbath day. How about that? Let's get a couple precepts on that. I'm not going to make this long. Let's go to uh, Isaiah 66 and verse 23. And it says, and there shall come to pass that from one, one new moon to another, and the new moon is a Sabbath, and from one uh, and from one Sabbath to another, shall all flesh come to worship before me, saith the Lord. And this ain't going to be Saturday to Saturday. All right. Not like how they keep the Sabbath now. It's gonna be based on the new moon, the, your new, the beginning of your months. You're gonna, we're gonna blow the trumpet, and it's gonna, and it's gonna be a Sabbath day, and then that dictates the rest of your Sabbaths for that particular month cycle. All right, so you're gonna come and worship before the Lord. All right, let's go from there to uh, Isaiah two. All right, because that's going to be the, the, the law, statutes, commandments is going to be the standard of the earth. OK. We're not going to be under the rule of uh, the beast and, 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 and all these anti Christ, anti messiahs. This is uh, Isaiah two and two. It says, and it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills and all nations shall flow unto it. And we're going to be the. Uh, not only the, the the government of of the Lord, you know, Lord willing, we be of the elect, but also we're going to be priests. So we're going to teach these nations how to uh, keep these laws. So they're going to flow to us, and it says, and many people shall go and say, "Come ye, and let us come up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, and He will teach us of His ways, and we will walk in His paths. For out of Zion shall go forth the law, and the word of the Lord from." Jerusalem. So the law is going to go forth and it's going to be enforced. All right. Like when you read Zechariah, the 14th chapter, it talks about how we're going to have the, the strangers. We're going to have the, the, the heathens. They're going to come up and um, have to keep the Feast of Tabernacles. You're not going to be keeping a, a Ishtar and, and Saturnalia and all that other crap. All right. Sam Hain, you know, when you, you dress up. Uh, uh, like a demon, you know, worshiping uh, uh, the, uh, the dead. We, we're not going to have no day, nothing like that in our kingdom. Okay. Including this, this beast. He's, he's, he's going to, he's going to be forced to be up under that until Obadiah 18. I'm going to just put it like that. Which he now he's now admitting that the Edomites are still around. He used to teach that the Edomites wasn't around. That's why I uh, re-uploaded that one video, 15 minutes of a uh, of vocab Malone's folly, where he once taught that the Edomites didn't exist. Then he turned around and said that they were the Arabs. So this dude, he's he's. <laughs> I mean, what more could you you know? And we've been dealing with this dude for. Uh, Almost going on a decade now. And he ain't really made no progress because Israelites are still waking up. This thing is, 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 is growing even bigger and bigger. That's why Paul said you can't do nothing against the truth before the truth. So this is, everything that he does is, is a failed attempt. Because you cannot fight against the most high, man. If it be of men, it'll come to naught. But you know that this ain't just of men. So anyway, I'm going to end it right there. And I'm going to give all praise and glory and honor to y'all. And to the next one, Shalom.